Also, just, yeah, keep, make sure my hair and stuff doesn't disrupt the sound on the microphone and things like that. It's a little bit rustling, so you've got to sit still. Okay. I'm not good at sitting still. Okay. Sound on? Yeah, recording. Yeah. Last video. Welcome back to Heaven Come Down, the story of a transgender disciple. All about my book, all about advocacy for trans youth. Well, this is the last video in our series up before book publication. And it's really hit us. We've loved making these videos together. And um, it's really hard coming to the end of the road and uh, it's really, really made us think and reflect back on what we've done. We hope you've learned something, enjoyed it. Um, I asked Katie a question um, and I said, why did you get into filmmaking? I want to be a filmmaker um, and it's not something I talk about that often um, but the reason I want to be a filmmaker is because um, as a teenager I was diagnosed with depression and I had long periods of time where I didn't want to leave the house and I just used to stay in and watch TV all day every day television films and it was a form definitely a form of escapism for me but what I used to find as well was I'd be watching something and whatever it might be that they were focusing on it would really impact me and that I would want to do that like I'd watch one born every minute and feel so inspired to be a, a midwife I'd think that these people um on camera were just amazing um and I it would be, it would be for everything I'd find everything inspiring and it would move me to to want something to do something and I think I came to the realization at some point that um what I actually really wanted to do was to be one of those people that enabled people to be inspiring and that actually it didn't matter what they were focusing on but the act of spotlighting it and sharing it was really powerful and that I would love to be able to do that so that's why and I'm I'm fortunate that with this series it's something that I'm really deeply care about and I get to work with someone who is amazing and is a genuine friend so yeah I just want this series to be part of me learning how to do that and to get to get people to get to know someone and to be invested and be moved to do something when we realised, when it sank in, that this was our last video, it was really hard. We've loved making these videos. Um, and we asked each other, what, what do you want these videos to be remembered? You know, what do you want people to take away from these videos? What do you want them to be remembered for? What I want people to take from these videos is really to take it as an opportunity to hear a perspective or to learn about something that perhaps they haven't heard of before. And I think for me and Chrissy, although this is all kind of formed around um, promotion for her book, it's we've actually always been in agreement that it's more than that. 
and that um, we really wanted her personality to come through. And I'm personally, I'm, I'm not religious, but that's why we always wanted the videos to have that personal focus. It doesn't matter if you're religious or not, you can still watch the videos and get something from them. Chrissy's story is so fascinating and unlike anything else I've ever heard that I think really anyone could take something from it. And so that's why I think it's really important to not just acknowledge that um, someone exists, but to really take the time to listen to them and to their beliefs and their interpretations and really make an effort to understand other people because ultimately you don't have to agree with them, but you should take the time to understand them and bringing awareness to all of the trans issues um, is just so important. It's something that there's still not enough being done and it's it really is a crisis situation and anything that I can do, that we can do to spread light on that is just, well, it's just a privilege really. So what I'd love for people to take from these videos is to feel like they're getting to know Chrissy um, because she speaks so well on these issues and, and to learn, but also to feel um, inspired to do something or to go and read something else and, and learn something else and just be open to other ideas and other people's perspectives because really that's something we can all do. The purpose of making these this series of videos was yeah to promote my book um, but more than that to really to advocate on behalf of the trans youth of today. Between 40 and 45% of all trans people attempt suicide at some stage of their lives. And within the youth community, that statistic is staggeringly high. It's probably one of the highest uh, attempted suicide statistics of any people group in the world. And the reason I wrote my book was because of that statistic. But we aren't numbers, we're people. <clears throat> Every single trans kid that is shamed, rejected, feels isolated, is precious. And no one should ever think of attempting suicide or taking their own life. And so <laughs> these videos are our attempt to change the world. One person at a time, one heart at a time, one mind at a time that people might have an insight in what it is to be trans, what we experience, and hopefully to come away from having watched these videos a little bit wiser, a little bit more informed. I've tried to paint a theological perspective, a faith perspective, for the Conservative Church to have a rethink <coughs> Um, on its beliefs towards us. So I want these videos to be remembered as, as something more, more for the advocacy for trans youth as much as for my book or anything about me. My story is repeated a thousand times over. There are so many elements to my story which so many um, young trans people experience. And it's, it's far easier to judge people than it is to love them. It's far easier to make judgments. It costs us nothing. To love people me means to make ourselves vulnerable, to admit that we might be wrong or have got things wrong. To love people costs us. <clears throat> it takes our time, our energy. And I suppose the challenge is, is what have you learned from these videos? Is there anything that you've learned that you can take away 
to make this world a, a better place, a kinder place, a more loving place, a more affirming place for trans kids growing up in such a hostile world and environment. I hope we've been a contrast to the endless and relentless transphobic uh, rhetoric, behaviour, words in the media, in the press um, and in our culture at the moment. So I want to say, Katie and I want to say a huge thank you for giving us your time, tuning in, listening, watching. Um, we're very, very grateful and I hope that you'll recommend these videos or share them with your friends. I hope that you'll buy the book. I hope that you'll pass the book around, that you'll share the book because it's all about um, being kind, changing the world uh, and making sure that not one single trans child attempts to take their own life again. That's the bottom line. That's why I wrote the book. That's why we've made the videos. Um, love you loads. And uh, from both of us, I want to say goodbye and thank you.